One of my biggest gripes with scenarios in The Sims 4 is the fact that you can't go back and play them whenever you want. As of right now, as of this time, they are only limited time. Very limited time actually, like 15 days limited time. By the same creator that made the Create a World mod, Twisted Mexi, we will now have a mod coming free very soon to everyone that gives you permanent access to all of the scenarios that are put into the game from EA. Keep in mind though, this is a mod. It is currently out now for early access on Patreon. You can download it on their Patreon and in less than two weeks, you will be able to download it completely free of charge. Twisted Mexi took to Twitter to tweet yesterday, my all scenarios mod is now available for all patrons. Access EA scenarios whenever you want, including the surviving the holiday scenario, which is actually the latest scenario to come to the game. This was just released, I believe like this past week or so. Of course, they include a link to their Patreon post and I will have a link to Twisted Mexi's Patreon that's pinned down in the comment section below. For those of you that want to support him. This creator makes so many other mods, so it isn't just this that you can download too. Tristan Mexi also has an alpha of the Create a World mod that is out now that you can download. I have a video on that as well, but I'm going to tell you it is totally worth it to subscribe to his Patreon. He also adds that public release is set for December 7th, 2021, if no issues are found. Thanks everyone. I was thinking to myself quite recently, like if enough people are coming complaining about the fact that these scenarios are limited time, I was like, you know what? Maybe EA will change it. Maybe EA will make it so that all these scenarios can be played any day, any time of the year, and they don't disappear. So for those that have other obligations like school or work or going on vacation, or maybe their computer has been sent away to be repaired and they're not going to have it back in time before a scenario goes away, maybe they're going to change this and make it so that it's like this mod and everything becomes permanent. But then I realized, honestly, I don't really see them doing that because I think the whole whole purpose of them making scenarios this way is to get people in the game, get them in more often to play, basically to improve the overall numbers in the game. Simscape makes a really good point. As far as I understand, the limited time scenarios are still in the game once they're over, right? They're basically hidden. If it's the case, then why would they spend time on creating something that they would subsequently hide and deprive of any use in the game? And that that is how Twist and Mexi was able to make these scenarios non-limited time, I guess, like permanent, because even though they are limited time, once they technically go away publicly from us, the players, the code for them is still in the game and it still exists and it's still there. The limited time tag is literally just there to get players back in the game. So they do still exist in the code of the game, but the developers have programmed it in such a way to where we can't access them unless a modder finds that code and makes them permanent themselves. Twisted Mexi responds something like that. It seems to me the limited time situation is meant to give The Sims 4 a pseudo live service, something they hope will drive simmers back on any given week in order to try the, in quotes, limited time feature. So like I said, definitely feeling like a way just to get players, you know, back into the game and keep their number of active players high as they're constantly releasing limited time scenarios for those people that don't necessarily play the game all the time they're gonna jump back every now and then to do these scenarios so it's going to increase their average you know I'm really happy that this is a mod but honestly agreeing with a lot of the responses on Twitter to this I can't believe that EA can't even do this themselves I was expecting someone to mod this but the fact that this even has to be a mod exactly that's what I'm saying it's like I love it and I'm happy for it but why does this have to exist why can't EA just make Make them permanent but it all makes sense they're not going to because it's going to help their numbers from a business standpoint let me know down below if you're going to get the early access or if you're going to wait for the free version but I just wanted to let you guys know about it even though this technically isn't like a mod review or overview because I'm not going to get the early access version I am gonna wait for it to come out for free before I try it and there really isn't anything to show off anyway because a screen cap of it is basically on the screen right here you can see that all the scenarios are are available without the limited time tag and you can do them however many times you want how often you want you'll be able to do them next summer if you want because they will all be here as long as you have this mod i love you guys so much thanks for clicking and watching and i'll see you all next time so long and happy simming bye everyone
This video was brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. If you'd like to join my community over there, a link is below. Thank you for watching.